Hey what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe if you do but in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how to do studio lighting in Blender so this is used for single objects basically like if you want to light a single object and it's studio lighting is used for that so what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to do it it's pretty easy and yeah so first thing you want to do is you don't have to do this but you, you, you want to create like a backdrop basically so like I said you don't have to do this but I'll show you how to do it so it could come in handy so shift a mesh plane s scale it up and then what you want to do is you want to get that backdrop like that so you're going to hit tab and then go here and click over there hit E and extrude it up with your mouse and you're going to click over here and go control B and bevel it and roll your scroll wheel of your mouse click hit tab right click shade smooth and now we've got that nice backdrop that nice studio backdrop and we've got a camera set up and that looks good what i'll do is just going to bring this up a little bit something like that looks beautiful so let's get an object i'm just going to get suzanne so shift a mesh and Suzanne, I'm just gonna go to X, G, bring it up, and then just go to camera, S, scale it down, G, G, and bring him down like that, and then S, scale it a little bit, and then I just wanna make it smooth, bear with me, click there, subdivision, surface modifier, and click there, and make it to right click shade smooth and now Suzanne is smooth if I go here you can see it's lit but if I go here it's dark so what we want to do is make the world completely dark so we can light it properly now everything is dark let's go here and that looks good so now what you want to do is basically you want to get studio lighting so you're going to go shift a and you're going to get a light so we're going to get a point light like that x g bring it up and if i go to z it'll be here go to wire mode so it's over here g and g we want to bring it to somewhere like this okay and this is going to light the one side this will be your key light so here you're going to get a key light and then you're going to get so what we're going to do now is go to this mode here and you can see there this is what we've got so if i go here 10 watts and if i hide this backdrop you can see that's what it looks like okay so i'm just going to make the backdrop completely dark so that it doesn't affect the and then it looks good so now you can see we've got light coming from this side now what you want to do is light get a light somewhere like that so let's go here and go shift and get another area light so light not area light point light sorry go x g bring it up go to z g bring it somewhere like that and somewhere like that g okay so it's over here and that's what you want so if i go here now you can see this is too bright so what we can do is just bring this down to somewhere like that and then click on the first point light and you can make this brighter something like that okay now you want to light it you want to get something on top here so if i go here you want to get something somewhere over here so again shift a light point same one and then go g bring it up to somewhere like this g and bring it to somewhere on top over here g maybe somewhere like this and now let's have a look okay now we've got a bit of the shadow so what we can do is bring this up somewhere like that and then this one we can go here and make this one quite bright something like this and then second one also bring it up somewhere like that and obviously if I change this you can see you get some shadow 
but if you change the materials, if I go here, and it all depends on the material as well. So if I get something like this, add, you can see it changes like this, so that looks a bit weird. So let's get something like a basic metal. And you can see there, now it's lit like that. And you can see, you'll have to play around with the lighting. Obviously, if I hide this plane, and I do this, you can see now it's lit like that. So if you move around, this also looks good. So you just remember that your plane will also affect the shadows and that kind of stuff. So if you don't want to, if you don't want that, you don't need it. You can just hide that. But you can see now how well lit the object is. If I go to basics, go to paint, get a click here, add. You can see there how well lit your object is with the point lights. You can go to something like this, get like a chalk material, and you can see there, now this also looks good. If I zoom in, you can see how nicely lit the object is with the shadows. Obviously, like I said, <laughs> the only reason why there's like shadows is because the object is causing the shadows. So if you make it like a cube, if I, if I go like this, and bring this back, and I hide, Suzanne and I go shift A and get a cube. S scale it down. X G. Bring it up to somewhere like this. Something like this. Make it a little bit smaller. And then go here. You can see now if I hide this. So let's throw. So let's go here, hide this. And you can see there now if I throw a material on. And you throw on a basic plastic material, you can see there, that's what it looks like. So, yeah, you could always, I obviously wanted to make you watch the video. You can see if I bring this back, it looks like that. And, yeah, like I said, it all depends on your lights and you'll have to play around with your strengths as well. Let's bring back Suzanne. She looks better and hide the plane. But yeah, you'll, you can see uh, how nice the object is obviously the material is very very good as well and it makes a bit of a difference but yeah like i said there is a way to get this kind of studio lighting with like one click and a few other clicks but this sometimes looks a lot better and i wanted to show you how to do it properly before i showed you and hopefully you learn something by doing this but if you want you could go here to edit preferences and go to add-ons type in try point try lighting and if it doesn't come up when you search for it and it's not enabled then just download it from blender dot i think it's from blender dot extension or extensions dot blender dot org download it and then add it into your extensions so you can enable it but you could also do that so you could just go shift a and go to light and click three point lights and it does that basically but it will instead of using a point light it will use area lights but for me point lights are a little bit easier to do when you're doing it yourself because you don't have to rotate them so point lights are like a light bulb but emits all around and it does look pretty good so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe check out blender kits link in the description check out my patreon helps me supports me in the channel keeps me going at yeah otherwise make sure you subscribe if you haven't already like the video, share it with your grandmother, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.